YouTubers, it's Nat, aka Haitian Honey. This is my first official YouTube vid and my first installation of my lock vlogs. Um, these won't be the only kinds of vids that I make, but it's my first. Um, and I had to make it a lock vlog because I have been posting slideshows of uh, compilations of photos of dreadlocked people that I think are just beautiful. And I've used them as my inspiration in my journey, so I thought I would share them with you YouTubers. And the response has been overwhelmingly positive, and I really enjoy that you've enjoyed those slideshows. I have to say that those photos have come from my collection because up until three years ago, I wasn't really interested in locking my hair. I was natural. But I hadn't really considered locking my hair. Um, but increasingly, I started seeing more and more locks that I thought were very well maintained, very professional looking. And I think that made the difference for me. Because prior to that point, I'd seen a lot of locks that looked unkept. And I didn't think they were for me. Although I, I love the idea of having a, a hairdo that you wouldn't necessarily have to do every day. And that's one of the things that I love about my locks. So um, I've been locked for two and a half years. And like I said, three years ago, I started making this turn toward liking locks and seeing locks that I loved. And part of that was just being on the internet and seeing all of the sisters that have been chronicling their journeys of their lock process and how they did it, and, uh, products that they used and methods that they used. And through that, I actually found a loctician in my area that was very well known. And she started my locks for me. Um, but prior to that point, like I said, like six months up until the date that I actually locked, I was lock crazed. I mean, I admit it. I, I was lock crazed. I was online every day looking for photos, collecting photos, um, trying to consider what size I wanted my locks to be, you know, thinking about the texture of my hair and, you know, what was best, um, what was the best uh, method to use. And so when I went for my consultation with my loctician, she went over the different methods, she did a, a texture test of my hair and told me what would be best for my hair. Um, I brought her a few photos of the size that I wanted in the end and she you know, made sure that she did my two strand twists um, and parted my hair the correct way to achieve that size. And um, as you can see, my locks are um, thick. Um, and I actually love that. Um, that. That is what I wanted. And I have, I have to say that sometimes I have remorse for not making them slightly smaller because sometimes I see people's locks and they look so thick and so full. Um, and I know that my hair is thick and my locks are thick, but sometimes I want that fullness. So when I'm feeling that way, I just go get them styled or I do a braid out or I two strand twist them or get them curled. And I have that, that body and that fullness that I so desire sometimes. Um, it's become easier along the way, I will say. Um, my hair took a whole year to mature. Um, my two strand twists were unraveling like a lot of yours do, um, the comments that I've received in questions. And uh, so much so, actually, that my loctician had to put knots at the end of some of my locks, which is... Um, I don't know if you can see, but that's why some of my locks are pretty chunky at the bottom. Because <laughs> those knots kind of um, were locked into the ends of my locks. Um, I've been kind of considering when they get longer maybe snipping off those chunky ends, but I don't know. They, they give my locks character, so I might just leave them alone. Um, i trying to think of other questions that I've received um, from my my personal slideshow that I made of my lock journey. Um, as I mentioned, I did start with two strand twists. It took my hair a whole year to mature. And um, I've been loving it ever since. I can't complain. I, I will say the first year I had quite a few uh, quote unquote bad hair days. And we all have tough times. 
But what helped me is those photos, those inspirational photos that I posted in my slideshows. And part of that was just knowing that there's beauty on the other side. Um, and there has been. I mean, once my hair fully matured, I don't have bad hair days. I mean, I might have a day where my hair's a little bushy, um, but that's because it might be hot or something like that. Um, other than that, it's great. I get up, I shake my locks in the morning, I go. Um, right now I have a little headband on um, to keep my hair out of my face. It's a little hot on this end right now. So uh, in the winter, I love for them to be out. They keep me nice and warm. And I'm looking forward to what's to come. Uh, you know, I've seen what's happened up to this point and I still look forward to seeing how they'll change and mature and condense and just get even more beautiful. So anyway, that's all I had to say for now. Um, I have really enjoyed your comments. Keep them coming. And I will keep the vids coming from now on. Uh, thanks for your support. And know that being natural is a wonderful thing and dreadlocks are beautiful and they can be transitioned into a professional work environment I know I've done that and you can too so if you're on the fence about locking I would say make sure that you're really ready to lock and then go for it get a professional's opinion you can maintain your own or go to a professional I went to a professional for the first year of locking until they were mature and I've been maintaining them on my own ever since. Um, I palm roll them. I wash them uh, once a week. And I pretty much make my own products or my own concoctions, which I'll go into um, in the next vid. But again, I want to just thank you for all of your support, your wonderful comments. And uh, I will continue making vids, and you keep those comments coming. Bye-bye.